If your PC is weak, slow, or barely runs Fortnite on your ultra-low PC, this guide will change everything. I am showing you the exact steps that pushed my old low-end PC all the way to 240 FPS. No magic, no paid software, only real tweaks that fix lag, clear stutters, and boost your FPS fast. Stay with me because every step in this video matters. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Alright guys, first things first. Before we even jump into Fortnite, we need to clean your PC. Over time, your system fills up with thousands of useless temporary files that slow everything down. Go to your desktop and press Windows plus R on your keyboard. This opens a small window called Run. In the box, type percent temp percent and press Enter. You'll now see a folder packed with random junk files. Select everything by pressing Ctrl plus A, then hit delete. If you see a few files that say in use, don't panic. Just click skip for those. Now repeat this process again. Press Windows plus R, but this time type temp without the percent signs. Hit enter, then delete everything inside that folder too. Step two, optimize your CPU using Quick CPU for maximum performance. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now we're going to push your CPU to its limit using a free program called Quick CPU. Go ahead and download and install it, then open it up. First, inside Quick CPU, change your power plan to ultimate performance. This plan stops Windows from trying to save energy by slowing your processor down. Instead, your CPU stays fully active all the time, which helps avoid slowdowns mid-fight and gives more stable FPS. Next, set core parking to 100%. This makes sure none of your CPU cores go to sleep, keeping all cores awake and ready to work. Then set performance to 100%, so your processor runs at full speed without lowering performance to save energy. Now move down and set frequency scaling to 100% as well. This prevents your CPU clock from constantly changing speeds, which can cause mini stutters or micro lag. Then set turbo boost to 100% so your CPU can automatically push higher when Fortnite needs extra power during fights or building battles. Click Apply, then OK to save your changes. After that, open the Advanced CPU Settings tab and make sure Turbo Boost is checked again. This double checks that your CPU can still speed up under heavy load. Also, enable EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step technology, so Windows can still handle power efficiently without hurting performance. Step 3. Using NVIDIA Profile Inspector Settings for Fortnite. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this next step is going to help a lot. We'll use a small tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It reveals hidden performance settings that aren't available in the regular NVIDIA control panel. Open the program and type Fortnite in the search bar at the top. If you've already downloaded a custom settings file from Discord, you can import it here. If not, no worries. We'll set it up manually. In the anti-aliasing section, find Transparency Super Sampling and change it to 0x Tetra 0 triple zero eight. Next, scroll to the Texture Filtering section and make these changes. Turn on Driver Controlled LOD. Set both LOD E Bias DX and LOD Bias OGL to plus 3. These settings slightly reduce small visual details like grass and soft shadows, but they give a nice FPS boost, especially on lower end PCS. Now set negative LOD E bias to clamp and change texture filtering quality to high quality. This helps your textures stay sharp without draining GPU power. Finally, scroll down to power management mode and set it to optimal performance. This setting lets your graphics card use its power efficiently and consistently instead of fluctuating up and down. Once you've made all changes, click apply changes at the top. That's it. These settings help Fortnite run smoother and more stable, especially if you're using a weak or older GPU. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once it's installed, open the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and GearUp will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the End tab, where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let GearUp automatically select the best option. I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from Gear Up Booster. 
This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step four, optimize your system memory using ISLC. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now we'll use a lightweight tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, to keep your system memory fresh and ready for gaming. Open ISLC and look at the total memory listed at the top in megabytes, MB. Divide that number by two. For example, if you have 16,000 megabytes, enter 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, enter 16,000. This tells ISLC when to clear memory before Windows runs out, preventing lag and stutters in Fortnite. Check Start ISLC Minimized and launch ISLC on user logon so it automatically runs every time your PC starts. This way, you don't have to open it manually. Next, turn timer resolution on and set it to 0.50. This helps make your system timing more precise, which can lower input delay and smooth out frame pacing. Set polling rate to 1000 milliseconds for faster PCs or 10,000 milliseconds for older size Shuash slower ones. This adjusts how often ISLC checks your memory to prevent lag without wasting performance. Click stop, then start, and finally purge standby list to clear unused memory immediately. This gives your PC a fresh start before launching Fortnite. Keeping your standby memory clean helps stop those sudden FPS drops during intense matches or when new areas load. You'll feel smoother gameplay and fewer slowdowns overall. Step 5. Optimize hardware using MSI Utility. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Next up, we're going to make your hardware talk to Windows more efficiently using a tool called MSI Utility. Open it and find your GPU graphics card in the list. Check the MSI box next to it and set interrupt priority to high. This tells Windows to give priority to your graphics card's tasks, reducing input delay and improving frame delivery. If your PC also has an integrated GPU, like Intel HD graphics, repeat the same steps for that one too. Check MSI and set high priority. This ensures both GPUs communicate quickly and don't bottleneck each other. Click apply and then close the utility. You don't need to keep it open. The settings will stay active. With these changes, your PC will handle graphics operations faster, which means less delay, smoother frame output, and better performance in Fortnite. Step six, make your PC start faster by disabling extra apps. For the final tweak, let's stop unnecessary apps from running when your PC starts. Press Control plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager. Then click on the Startup tab. Look through the list and right-click any app you don't need to open automatically, like Discord, Spotify, or OneDrive, and click Disable. This stops those apps from eating CPU and memory as soon as your PC turns on. Now, when you start your computer, Fortnite will have more free resources right away, giving you faster boot times and better FPS from the start. Once you're done, restart your PC one more time to apply all settings properly. When you boot back up, you'll be running a performance-optimized setup built for ultra-low PCs. Enjoy smoother, faster Fortnite with rock-solid frame rates.